The following program is made possible by First State Bank, offering secure online and mobile banking. First State Bank is ready to serve your financial needs with locations in Warren, Hermitage, and Hampton. First State Bank, the difference is leadership. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. I have the city clerk's report. You should have a copy of your statements and revenue and expenditures for the month of May. Chief Hildreth, 
I'm sorry. I, did we have any aldermen signing? Okay. Did any aldermen uh, have anything to say? Yes, sir. Uh, on Sunday, I, I had some concerned parents who come to me uh, involving the carnival. Seemed like uh, elementary kids was able to uh, get knives as gifts uh, at the carnival. And uh, if they took those knives to school, they would be expelled. As in the past, sometimes we prohibited them from giving knives during the, the festival. And we were wondering in the future, could we go back to that? I will bring it to the attention of the Pink uh, Pink Festival. Committee. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. Good evening. That's the beginning from not my usual energetic ship itself. It was a long weekend. <laughs> 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 it's bigger by me, it's bigger. <laughs> uh, I think you guys have my much report in front of you. If you have any questions. I saw the truck and it looks good. Well, thank you. Thank you. It does. It does. We were pleasantly surprised with it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, now Just, I have been trying to remember to ask you for two weeks. Is there any progress report on when the other vehicles may come in? Yes, ma'am. You may not want to hear it, but we did make contact with the um, dealership. And what they're saying is that um, as of last week, that they haven't even started production on our vehicles. It may be 2023. Before we're able to get and that goes for the Explorer and the Ram that we ordered. I guess there was a reason I had not to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to bring it up anyway. So. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. So, but they um, don't know what the issue is. They can't tell us anything. Um, the um, individual that we spoke to just says that they don't believe they haven't started production on them. It'll probably be early 2023. Okay. We, we may, I may make some phone, we make some phone right. calls. Right. Okay. 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 Anything else? <laughs> Alderman uh, Frazier, do you have anything? I don't have anything. All right. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you. I guess they're going to make you go home and get some breakfast. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to drive through that season, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fire Chief Moore. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Warren Fire Department funded the 10 calls during the month of May. All of those were funneled out to the entire department. Uh, we had our monthly meeting on May the 2nd with 20 members present. Our total payroll for the volunteer payroll for the month was 2202.50. Uh, we did a lot of training this month. So on May the 2nd, we put the new engine in service. Uh, on the 14th, we had a ladder truck training lasting about six hours during the day. And then on the 31st, we did a control burn here at 505 North Myrtle. Any questions of the chief? Chief, do we have a policy on multi-municipalities coming in to warn on, on a fire and vice versa if we went to other municipalities? We do have mutual aid agreements with a number of the municipalities that we can go help them and they can come help us. Well, in possible. the event that would happen, how, how is the chain of command set up? Well, they would come in, and if they come here, they're under me or whoever's in charge here. And if we go there, we place ourselves at their disposal, in other words, so. Do we have that in right? Yes, sir. Did I get a copy of it? How many of them you want? Just one of you know. Oh, you just want to see the general. Well, if I have. I mean, we have, we have with every county department, we have a mutual aid agreement. And then we have, I know we have one with Monticello and several of the other, I can't name them all, but they all basically work the same. They just change the name, put the department in, but. Well, my concerns were based on that you found the incident right. where nobody wanted to claim that they actually have control gotcha. of the situation and then the next one pointing fingers at the next one. I would just like, since we just had that situation at the school, I would want to see that and we go over that and make sure that all our ducks are in a row. Absolutely. Thank you. I can get that done. Okay. Anything else, uh, Alderman Colford? That'll be all, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Okay, sanitation. Hello. Oh. Uh. Okay. 
from the storm on Friday that, that they had to haul off and of course we're still working on that all over town. <laughs> okay, if there's no questions about sanitation, then the building report, building code. We haven't went any further on some properties that we were con that we condemned last month because we we're getting some clarity on some of our ordinances to make sure that they're they're right. Uh, so we've kind of held off on doing any more right now. We did, as the fire chief said, have one of the houses that was condemned, 505 Myrtle Burn, uh, and cleaned up. Hadn't got the total cost of it back yet. But however, before we burned it, it would cost 13, estimate of $13,000. Clean it up and haul it off. Yes, sir. We uh, discussed in the uh, agenda meeting uh, about the property over here on the Elto Court. Cross uh -huh. Yes, sir. And it was indicated that someone indicated that stays across there that uh, lead, a, lead a man along. Uh, and so I don't know. But it's still an eyesore for, for the area. And if we're going to just go ahead and let folks deal with it the way it is, then we should just close everything else down. Well, I made the comment that we had gotten that, but it was not in the, the sense of we weren't we weren't going to pursue what we needed to pursue. I was just informing well, I'm the just, council I'm just, members well, that we yeah. had gotten some pushback. Yeah. But that doesn't necessarily mean that, that we're going to be pushed back. We got some pushback about cleaning it up, we need to leave him alone and let him stay there, is that, that what it was? That was exactly what I was told by two or three different residents in that area. Mm -hmm. And people all, uh, exactly should have the right to live anywhere they want to, and we should leave them all. And they didn't see any sense in me being over here every morning <coughs> trying try to get him out of it. Uh, I think they were waiting on me actually that morning. <laughs> go, go I, I, you gotta catch him at a certain time when mm -hmm. you don't catch him. Uh, and I'm not up at midnight when he's up, right? With his lights on and the boat yeah, trailer, yeah. yeah. But uh, uh, there's there's some problems we have. We're just going to figure out how to handle them. We've got some advice from the uh, municipal league, and we just wait just to go forward with it. I just keep going back to that that situation is it's mental health you know it's not only an eyesore but it's mental health and I, it's not i mean it, i know it's an ordinance and we have to stay with the ordinance but surely there's somewhere that we could i don't know i mean there's no i don't know the answer i, I mean i know we have to clean it up there's no i mean you can't that's a eyesore but you know it goes back to it's just going to happen just like last time it's going to happen again and how much have we already spent? You know, Mr. Nisa, probably at least 10,000, I would yeah. think. Uh, that, that would be a rough, yeah. For the first time, five to second. And then the city went over and did some on its own. So yeah, 10,000 would be a, a good thing. I mean, that's just. But there again, I mean, I'm, I'm not an opponent, I a proponent at all of doing nothing. And I know Mr. Johnson did not Right. But, uh, you know. And then if you find him, he's not gonna pay that. So that doesn't do any good. No, you know? no, because he can get, he can get fined every day. Uh, I mean, uh, it's not going to do any good. So I don't, I don't have any answers. Me uh, neither. It's making it a lot harder to enforce it somewhere else because I get reverted back to that. Right. And say, well, you're not doing anything to him. 
around. I can see that 100%. And, and, uh, it's kind of like the porch deal on Pine Street. Uh, where is, you know, that's where you just not cleaned up. Right. So, uh, you know, what's the unsightly part that I can take off the porch? Right. I can't take anything. <coughs> I mean, what's unsightly to us may not right. be unsightly Absolutely. to someone else. That's what, that's what they're saying. And, and, uh, so do you think those that that whole ordinance needs to be reviewed, Rob? Like we, we, it definitely needs to be. I, I talked to the city attorney on it. We we talked and we talked to the attorney in Little Rock or Municipal League. Uh, specific wordings, should right? Be, uh, I mean, as far as you can't have over five items on the front porch, you can't have a ten. Right. You, you can't. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but certain yeah. items such as. Could you say like certain items such as appliances or? You would have to name them, yes. Like, you know, no commodes on the front porch, no, you know. Refrigerators, dishwashers. Yeah. Yeah. Rob, well, uh, I think the parade started over on the seminary. And um, we were talking about uh, the Jefferson Banks property there. Yes, sir. I don't understand why the bank who owns the property will have to then fix it up. Well, we're in the process of sending the list, the, lend, the lending institute a letter. Uh, matter of fact, we worked on it today. We okay. got all the information Friday after I talked to you on the phone. No, on Thursday, I believe. Mean. Uh, it, it's it's very difficult, y'all. I'm just going to be honest with you. So, if any any help would be would be appreciated. Uh, we still got the car situation on Millwood. There's more cars out there than Landers. I mean, there really is. Uh, and that's not fair to the people across the street. Uh, they're looking at them, but I mean, you're doing a great job. It's just only so well, much you can do. It's only so much anybody can do. Right. You know, it's just your hands are tied, or you get them slapped, or you know. So there's so much red tape when you start trying to. Yeah, it looks like it goes more to them. Right. One hundred. Yes. You know. Yeah, but uh, it's, I wonder. You know, last time when we did move, when we cleaned that, is it Howard Street? There was such terrible pushback on Facebook, which I know social media, social media. But everybody wants to complain, but I have yet to see a solution. So well, a lot of you yeah, know what I mean. Right. Yeah, you're 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 right. I mean, I have a lot of people that want to complain, but they won't come sign a complaint for them. Right. So you know. And I tell them to come here. I don't right. see anybody here. There's nobody here to not complain about one piece of property. Right. And I bet I told a dozen or more this month. You need to come to city council. You need to get involved with city council. Right. We don't have all the answers. We're just here no. to speak for our wards and what right. people bring to us, you know? And so, I mean, if somebody has an answer, hey, let us know. You need to know what it is. Yeah. But uh, I, I, I certainly don't have it. Ooh, me either. Anything uh, else? Yeah, the compactor. We're about to get the the bid package. You wouldn't believe it's been taking this long for me to get this. People just keep rolling it over. They promised me I'll have it next week so we can go out for bids on the compactor. Uh, our other one is working okay now since we got it fixed. And uh, we're also getting ready to work on a new contract with the current waste hauler that we have out of El Dorado. Because uh, we just found out we hadn't had a new contract written up since 2013. And uh, after talking to Monticello last week at their landfill, uh, they're getting a lot more out of their contract than we are. So we looked our contract up, and that's how we found out that it hadn't been revised since 2013. And uh, we're spending a lot of money on our end that we don't have to. That they should be provided at least that's what they're providing them all stolen. so hopefully next next week or two we can get a sanitation meeting together with with them and maybe come up with a different better different and better solution on what we're doing right now and to make this announcement public uh our chippers down is tore up it's 2007 model we bought it in 2007 when I was here last time. Hmm. And uh, they're about $34,000 more expensive than they were in 2007. So we're looking at the neighborhood of 50 to 55,000 if you want to replace it. 
the repaired cost on right of this one will be about six thousand. I was told that you know if, well, it's two thousand seven bucks. You know, if you want to put that kind of money in it, you know, but base to a you know base to a new one, you may you may want to fix it a time or two more. And that's what we don't charge for chipping, right? When we pick up everything you get in your water bill for trash, the seventeen dollars a month residential is. Included in that? Including and picking up limb and picking up junk. So that's not a whole lot of money, I'm sorry. No. Would there be any warranty after if if, if it was fixed? I mean, no, no ma'am. Not, no not on this one. I asked that, Mr. Harvey. No, ma'am, there's not. Uh, as he said, not out the door. So, but uh, Mr. Kenneth has, has kept it up in the last, well, since 2007. He's been responsible for all the oil changes and all that on it's the motor itself's in pretty good shape it doesn't look good i mean it, you would think it wouldn't chip up anything but we replaced the teeth in it about a month ago and what went out on this particular part they're saying shouldn't have lasted as long as it did so the maintenance has been been taken care of or you know but uh, to redo it they, the, the, the part is obsolete so you have to get one made and that's where the that's where the price is coming in on. And I've got a machine shop that telling me they can build it. So maybe hopefully if, if I get permission to get it checked on, we will. But right now we we're not chipping. And we are looking at some resources to help to to maybe hire some uh, farm or something to come in and help us get these limbs up that work. Um, that failed and blown down during the storm because we don't have the equipment to to really and some of these are big so we're looking into prices there uh, going ahead and getting the city cleaned up as soon as we can we probably refer this to the uh, sanitation committee to uh, move forward with whether or not we if, if it's in the best interest to fix a 2007 <laughs> or to pursue a new one. So I, I move that the chipper item be referred to the sanitation committee. Okay. Mr. Parks, if you'll get with Miss Charlotte and give her a day in time, she can call well, and get going. You know, my feeling is that whatever law it wants, we're going to try to get it. I don't think it needs to be. The law I want, that's no one here get to make the rent to recommendation. Well, I'm certainly not for fixing a 2007 uh, chipper that has to have a part made and uh, there's no warranty of any kind that goes with it. So, I mean, I concur that we need to uh, explore getting a new one. Okay, I'll get some prices together. Or I can send it out for bid, whatever y'all would like. But I'm, I'm not on that committee. Uh, <laughs> all the toll-free, all the Marshall, and all the birds. That doesn't matter to me, but I just said, I trust Rob with the judgment on it. Thank you. Well, we can have some information by next council meeting. Oh, I'm going to call for you're a part of that committee. Do you have any comments? I'm going to follow Rose Zach Lee as he's the chair of it. Okay. Okay. Anything else for um, Mr. Johnson? If not, thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Once again, thank you and your crew for oh, the work you all have done. Uh, Ways and Means Committee, we've got the in your pay. Okay, you're not going to. Uh, go oh, to I'm sorry. Oh, well, <laughs> I, I I didn't skip him on purpose, but they had to take down the tree that on Main Street. They had finished getting that tree down on Main Street that popped out Friday, um, and so I know he went. He had some other things to do to get all that taken care of. So he's not here. Um, I do know that they, of course, they. Uh, they work too, they come in in the middle of the night and help uh, get the streets cleaned and they did a great job getting things ready beforehand, anything that uh, had to do with the streets to get them ready for the festival. And then uh, now 
hands, all hands on deck and hands full of getting these limbs and getting the street off. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I'm, and I know I'm, I stayed on top of it. So all of the streets are open. Um, Southern Court was the last one and it, it got opened up this afternoon. So now it's just gonna be a matter of going around and seeing how we can get these pals of limbs picked up and some of them are much bigger than any for any equipment that the city currently has so we'll like i said be looking into some maybe some contract work or um, rob's taking care of that for me getting some quotes on what it would cost but uh, and then like the city and sanitation committee uh, departments are picking up what they can pick up with the limited equipment that we have Anything else on the streets? Did the city sustain enough damage to get outside here? No, sir. That was my first question of the county judge. I believe we talked on Sunday, and even countywide, we weren't going to hit the seven hundred and fifty thousand dollar mark. But many people lost their houses. They sure did. Yeah, really, I just thought we needed to help them. I asked. Yeah, I know several people lost seven lost their houses. Completely all the house. Mm -hmm. Tree fell in the middle of them. Well, I, I know we had at least four or five in town. I don't know about outside. So does anyone there. come out and survey that, or how do we ascertain whether we have hit that limit or not? I, ha I have to lean on the county judge. I mean, it's his call, and he's the one that declares. But I will ask him again after you know things have settled. And uh, I'll, uh, in fact, that was he, him that called me a while ago with my phone on and I apologize but maybe he has some <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to him tonight when I get home and uh, I mean trust me uh, Mr. Tollfree if there's some money out there to help us do this it will we will go for it <laughs> as much as FEMA um, there, there's a lot of paperwork when you do when you deal with FEMA but we'll do it for uh, for some additional money if we can anything else and uh okay then i now i'll go down to ways and means so you're gonna, you're gonna put your well miss uh <laughs> miss uh alderman marshall is not here and they have not met to my knowledge okay all right now you ready for me yes ma'am <laughs> all right listed under the ways and means committee is the tenure bonuses and this is what we do uh this time of the year in your packet you should have the tenure bonus pay for city employees 20 years and over there are five and the dollar amount is six hundred dollars 15 years and over there are four at five hundred dollars 10 years and over there's one individual at four hundred dollars five years and over eleven at three hundred dollars and if you turn to the second page it will tell you who those uh full-time uh and elected, full-time elected officials are. I move that the city council approve the amount of $8,700 plus the FICA of $665.65, the permit $1,332 with a grand total of $10,698.39 for tenure pay. Second. Motion and second to approve the tenure pay for 2022. Any discussion? All those in favor by show of hands. Unanimous. Okay. And Mr. Wagner, Parks and Rex is not here because there are two um, extended league high school games tonight at the complex. And um, I'm just gonna say, Mayor, that you had mentioned about us getting together for a meeting. Uh, so if you just let us know when you want us to look at the midpoint, we will try to get our schedule together. Yes, ma'am. Let's get through this week and next week. And so it may be pushed to the very first of July or the very end of June. Okay. And the June is not good for me, but the first of July. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. We, we will, if we, if we wait till July 1, we'll have June's report. So that would probably be better anyway. <laughs> so make a note of that, uh, Charlotte, for me, please. Uh, and then if you would like to drive by the city pool tonight, you'll see a little bit of change. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to spoil the surprise. 
They're not through completely through with it yet, but we're it's getting sunglasses. It. <laughs> so you drove, you drove by. I always go down. Every day. I have to go home that place. We engaged with the East students, and this was this is a project from of them and one one young lady in East uh, in particular, and so I'm excited about it. It actually was one of the recommended um, small things we could do for our community when we had the uh, UALR group here. So I'm excited that it's taken, uh, well, it's taken a year, but at least we've done one thing that was in that report and maybe we can accomplish some others. So we send in periodical, periodical reports to them as to things? No, but I will, when we finish it, I will be contacting them and if, they, if any of them want to come down, because I'd like to have, you know, a little, uh, I don't know. When they get completely through, I, I would like to make, you know, recognition. Um, okay. Now we'll go on to the Planning Commission. There was no meeting, no meeting of the Aviation Committee. We have Water and Sewer Commission uh, reports in hand. Housing Authority, monthly meeting minutes. Cultural Center Commission, you have it in your packet. Uh, is there any unfinished business? I I just like to mention uh, some areas that is desperately need of clean up, rolled up, and everything else, and it's part of the city of Warren and it's been that way for years and it continues to be that way and I think we need to do something about it if you're going to have your area to grow and I don't know we've been talking about this I know I've been talking about this for a lot of years and uh, War 3 and I guess I'm the only one talking about this in War 3 but there's a lot of things that's going on that should not be going on if we're going to have, you know, you, you see where the, the social economic areas and how you're going to get folks to come into the area, it's not going to happen. And we can pretend all we want, but that's the way it is. If you will get with Mr. Johnson and fill out the complaint form. I'm not going to fill out a complaint, man, because this is all grown up. This is timber. You got deers and raccoons and everything else jumping out all the way from Board Street all the way through. I don't know if you all been through that way, but you need to go over look. And that's the city limits. Was down through there just last week. Well, <laughs> apparently somebody's not paying attention to it. Where is it growing up? Back? All over. Well, we just need some, we need some addresses yeah. and complaint forms. Well, you start right there behind Potlatch, the Bubby's property, and all down through there. Well, I'm just meaning like where, but I got you now. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Any uh, no any other public statements? No one has signed in. Uh, any, is there any new business announcements? I will say that Pink Tomato Festival was a very successful one. I think there were people just ready to get out and enjoy. And uh, I did check with the chief Saturday night. We had, had we had no trouble. And uh, so I mean we had a good festival. Great uh, attendance great committee. The municipal building will be closed Monday the 20th for Juneteenth and then we will be closed Monday July the 4th for uh, Independence Day. Don't forget the grand opening of the uh, range is scheduled for June the 22nd at 11 o'clock with Game and Fish. We're getting those announcements and, and um, invitations out today and so come out and see what, uh, what your city has accomplished there. Uh, pay the bills for May 2022. I move that we pay the bills uh, for the month of May. Motion and second to pay the May bills. Any discussion? All those in favor by show of hands. Unanimous. Uh, the next meeting for July will be set. Agenda meeting is the 7th at 7 a.m. And uh, the 11th will be a council meeting at 5.30. Motion to adjourn. I believe that we're adjourned. All those in favor by show of hands.